All right, uh, this is gonna be highly used in pediatrics rotations, clinical practice, and my preceptor provided this to me and I had it throughout my whole PEDS rotation. It helped a lot. PubertyToSoon.com is another resource website and this is where this pamphlet is. Shout out to them. Uh, basically the same thing, um, girls and boys, it's gonna be stage one and five are pretty much not really gonna be a factor in anything because stage one is pretty much there's nothing going on. And stage five is when things are fully mature. So you can always rule those out, especially on tests and exams. And in person, you just have to get familiar with the different stages on that part. Uh, stage two through four, pretty much uh, questions. If we're talking about question exams, they usually talk about these. They don't really talk about the hair growth as much because it can be a little tricky. So they kind of stick to uh, two and th two through four. So to differentiate, stage two, there are always gonna be questions about breast budding stage. That's always gonna be stage two. In clinical practice, this is kind of like the early puberty stages you gotta have to get used to and understand that part. Stage three is just a f further enlargement of the breast and the areola, but with no separation. That's the main key is in the no separation. But stage four, main key word here is second mound. If you have a question that says second mound, stage four, for tanner stage for girls, that's going to be your answer. But there's no second mound, it's most likely going to be stage three. But they always have breast budding. Every question in practice exam I've seen, they always said breast budding stage. As far as clinical practice, it's going to be more judgmental. Uh, try to learn with your preceptor as much as you can and try to figure out which stages uh, the patient's at. As far as the hair, they might have you questions about like sparse hair growth or uh, breast budding stage, they might mention that, but most likely that's just stage two. Stage three is just a little more darker, and stage four, it's like more like adult, but not fully. So most likely it might be two and three here. Basically, they'll just say like, patient has like breast budding stages with sparse growth of hair. So that's pretty much gonna be an answer. And if it says considerably darker, but no separation, it's gonna be stage three. So yeah. This is probably the simplest way, simplest form. If you just look at this chart and memorize it and practice and read up on it, it's gonna be simple. It takes time. It is a little confusing for some reason, but always the simple ones are always harder to understand. But you can always check out this website too for more information, but that's all it is. Comment, like, subscribe, let me know what you think and get your tennis stages correct. Peace.